Well, despite what you may have heard, right now there is no drug that specifically treats this coronavirus, but Texas A&M researchers are working hard to change that. Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold shows us why they think they've cracked the code. Night and day, researchers are on the hunt for COVID-19 treatments. Where are you in that process in developing this new drug? So we are very close right now. Texas A&M University chemist Dr. Wenqi Liu is talking about a two-pronged approach to stopping COVID-19 in its tracks. One drug kills an enzyme critical to the virus. If you block this enzyme's activity, the virus stops replicating. Liu says this drug is showing the most promise. The second would interfere with the protein in the virus's membrane. So which can block the virus entry into the human cell. Liu is hoping to get at least one of his drugs into the hands of clinicians quickly. I want to finish the chemistry part in two months. And after that, I really need a clinician to pick up. Liu said he is developing multiple drugs because more than one will be needed to fight this virus. You get one drug available, and after a while, you see the, the, the virus mutate. The mutated to tend to be resistant against that drug. And then you have to jump on and work on the second one. Liu and his team began working on these drugs long before COVID-19 became a problem in the U.S. In January, Liu and his colleagues were the first to recommend using remdesivir as a treatment for novel coronavirus. At the same time that study was being published, Liu was looking ahead. So that was a time we decided to jump on board and I talked to my group member and said, okay, I, I want you guys to uh, pretty much stop what you're doing right now and start to make a new drug for the virus. This work comes as doctors experiment with other treatments. Just this weekend, Houston's Methodist Hospital saw the first transfusion of plasma from a COVID-19 survivor into a patient suffering from the virus. The idea is that that plasma uh, may have parts of the immune system like antibodies against the COVID-19 virus that could potentially help um, patients that are currently sick with COVID-19. Liu says his and others' work should also serve as a message that help is on the way. Please don't lose hope. And we are here to deliver the hope. The federal government should announce soon the results of clinical trials involving that drug remdesivir. Also, the government is fast-tracking clinical trials on the anti-malaria drug hydroxychloroquine. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.